Hi, this is Dr. Fast here. In this video, I will be installing this fingerprint door lock. It's made by a company called Adele. The model number is 3398. And I got this on Amazon. I'll put a link for this item in the description below. Now, with this door lock, you can open it either with your fingerprint or a pin number or with a key. So let me open this up so we can have a better look at this door lock. Here we have the user guide and they also include a bottle opener. Here we have the installation guide. Before we take this out, a couple more parts you can remove. Here's a handle, so let me flip this over. I'm going to go ahead and remove these two Phillips screw on the back side here. I've gone ahead and removed the battery cover and there's a Phillips screw right in the middle. So let me go ahead and remove this also. Now we have two more Phillips screws to take out. Now the front and the back piece should separate, and it does. Just have to disconnect this connector here. Here are all the parts laid out and I'll follow the installation guide to perform the installation but the first thing I will need to do is remove the old lock on my door so the room that I'll be installing this new lock is this one here this is my office and this is the old lock so I'll go ahead and remove this to remove the old doorknob remove two Phillips screws holding two pieces together and then you can pull this out and remove this other piece now we'll remove the latch Before installing the new latch, you need to check the distance from the edge of the door to the center of this hole and see if it's 60 millimeter or 70 millimeter. In the installation guide, it gives you a diagram where you can fold this at the line and you can measure from the middle of the hole to the edge of the door and it tells you this is 60 millimeter. If you look at the new latch, it's marked 60 millimeter or 70 millimeter. You can slide this back and forth. Now the original cutout has rounded corners. The new latch is rectangular in shape. So get a chisel and just chisel out the round corner so the new latch will fit. Now install the new latch. On the front side of the lock, you'll notice that it will require three holes, and most door locks only require two. So when you install this, you do need to drill one additional hole up top here. And going back to the diagram here, this is the hole, same as this. Right above it, this is your third screw hole that you need to drill. From the center of this hole to this hole where you need to drill is 55.6 millimeter. So I've gone ahead and marked this hole right here. On this front door lock, install the spindle into this hole right here, and then route this wire underneath the latch. Now we'll put this in. On the other side, First install this plastic gasket, route the wire through the hole, and then you also have this metal bracket, route the wire through this hole also. Install these two Phillips screws. And 
and tighten these down. On the back doorknob, connect the connector. And you want to make sure the red will line up with the red, the black will line up with the black. I'll just carefully route the wire in this space right here so it won't be in the way. Now we'll install this. Now there are three screws you need to install, one in the middle, two smaller screws on the side. Now install the AA batteries, you need four. Now install the battery cover and there's one Phillips screw at the top. Before you can install the handle you need to remove the set screw using an allen wrench. Now we'll slip this on, reinstall the set screw. Now you can install this new strike plate that comes with it, but I'm not going to because the shape of this doesn't match the original one. And also the two holes are different than the existing one, so I'm going to leave the one I have here. So let's I go through the initial setup of this door lock. I've gone ahead and removed the battery cover, and if you look at the top screw right here, on either side there is a hole, and inside these two holes there is a switch. So you need to get two Allen wrench or perhaps two long screws that will reach inside and we'll need that to do the initial setup. The first thing you want to do is remove one of the AA battery to cut the power to the door lock. Now you'll need to take the two Allen wrench and put it into both of these holes where the buttons are and push it in. While holding it in, we'll install the battery wait five seconds and it should beep. Now you can let go of the Allen wrench. So now the lock is initialized and any previous settings are all cleared. Now I've gone ahead and reinstalled the battery cover. Now with this lock you can store 10 master fingerprints, 90 member fingerprints, 20 temporary fingerprints, and one pin code. To set the master fingerprint, you need to press 0, then the fingerprint window will light up red. You immediately put your finger on it. So let's do that right now. Now press 1 and hold it. Now press 1 again for master fingerprint user group. Now put your finger on the window here. And now your master fingerprint is set. To program a general user, press 0, put the master fingerprint on, then press 1, now press 2, now put the new fingerprint on the window, and it's set. You can also set up an 11 digit pin code but that pin code cannot begin with a zero. So let me show you. First press zero and enter your master fingerprint. Now press three. Both lights will turn on. Now enter your 11 digit. I'm gonna put in one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, one, two. That's 11 digits. If you want to use a pin to unlock the door, all you have to do is just enter those numbers. And the door unlocks.
One thing I do want to mention is that on Amazon, I notice some people complain about the programming sequence, and sometimes it won't go into the programming mode. What I notice is that with every step the instruction tells you, you should give it just one second between steps. You don't want to do it too quickly or wait too long. Otherwise, it won't go into that programming mode. Just play with it a few times and then you'll get a hang of it. If you ever need to use the emergency key to open the lock, you need to get your Allen wrench and remove this set screw. Remove this handle. At the end of the handle, there is a slot for you to insert this key to unlock it. Also, if you find the battery to be dead, look underneath the door lock. There are two conductors here. You can actually place a 9 volt battery underneath here to temporarily power this so you can unlock the door. So with this lock, whenever you close the door, it will be locked. And as you can see, I can't open this right now. To unlock this, I'll use my fingerprint, press 0, place my finger on this. Now the door opens. Well, I hope you enjoy watching this video on the installation of this Adele 3398 fingerprint door lock. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave one in the comments section. And don't forget to click on a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.